of these five candidates will be the first in nearly two decades to replace Mayor Jim Artis as our city's leader. And for now, we go to Durante Matthews, who is live at the Gontos Law Office building, where candidate Rita Ali is holding a watch party. Durante. Well, Kimberly, taking 39% of the votes with 4,607 of them, Rita Ali, just hearing those numbers, how do you feel that not knowing that, not only knowing that you have secured a spot in the April election, but that you came in with such a great lead? Yeah, I mean, it feels really good to know that you have that level of support from the community that you grew up in, that you have worked in all of your adult life. I mean, it feels great to have support from, you know, all the five different districts and the diversity of support. So I feel great tonight. We're going to kind of let it soak in, um, pinch myself a little bit. And then tomorrow, you know, we're going we're gonna to get started. Early voting starts this Thursday for the April 6th election. So we're going to get busy. Perfect. And getting busy is the key because now, now you really have to think, you know, there was a section of the city know that you didn't secure the votes for. So what do you have to do in order to get those votes going forward? Well, I'm not sure what section of the city that you're talking about because we secured votes in every five district and we, we scored well in all five districts. So, you know, but, but at the same time, we're going to be out there. We're going to be engaging the citizens. We're going to be listening. And, you know, I want to hear, I want to hear from, from everybody, even those with an opposite, you know, um, position in terms of uh, the priorities that I want to focus on. Perfect. And um, just, I uh, just want to bring up, you know, something, if you do secure that seat, you know, going forward, you will be the first black, not only the black mayor, but woman mayor of Peoria. What does that, mi like, what kind of a mindset does that put you in? Well, it means so much. I mean, there's there's been a glass ceiling for 54 mayors and about 170 years that there's never been a a mayor who was a woman who is a woman. There's never been a mayor who is a person of color. I'm familiar with two women that have run in the past. Uh, uh, Miss Elise Allen, I think, was the first woman to run for Peoria mayor, and uh, Miss um, I know her name. Oh gosh. Uh, I'm so sorry, I can't say it. And, you know, there's two women that have run for mayor, and I admire them. Uh, I'm just nervous right now. I admire them both. But, yeah, it would be wonderful to break that glass ceiling and to uh, let little girls know that a woman can be mayor. Well, thank you so very much, Rita. I'm sure those little girls are so proud of you right now, and we'll continue to follow up with you going forward. Uh, for now, live in the Gantos building, Durante Matthews, WMBD News. Thanks, Durante.